Hello everyone. Today we learn design matrix of embedded system, which include common design matrix like energy cost, unit cost, size of system, performance of system, and so on. Let's start with some common design matrices. Let's start with some common design metric. The first one is non-recurring engineering cost, nothing but NRE cost. It is one-time initial cost of designing a system. Suppose you want an application specific system. You want to design some application specific system. Then initially costs paid by the user for the designing a system is nothing but NRE cost. Then next is unit cost. A cost of manufacturing single each single copy of a system. It is a cost of manufacturing each single copy of a system without including NRE cost is nothing but a unit cost. Next parameter is size. The actual physical size occupied by the system is nothing but a size design matrix of a system. Then next is the performance. This is measured in terms of time taken or it is nothing but a throughput means what the performance must be high and the size must be low unit cost must be low as possible as well as the nre cost is also low the next parameter is power. The amount of power consumed by the system by the power unit or by a battery supply. So system must consume very less power. If we consider an idle system, then then idle system include less energy cost, less unit cost, size must be small as possible, performance is high, and power consumption is low. Next design metric is flexibility. Flexibility is nothing but ability to change the functionality of system. If we consider idle embedded system, then system must be flexible. Means what? If any system requires some upgradation, if one system is there which is using only two sensor as an input, but after some time you need to upgrade that system with another sensor, now you want a three sensor as an input. You can easily done by using embedded system. It is nothing but a flexibility. Maintainability. 
you can easily modify the design of system and the maintenance cost of system is very low if we consider idle embedded system then the maintenance cost is maintenance cost of embedded system is very low time to prototype it is the time which is required to build a working version of a system it is nothing but a prototype is known as time to prototype if you consider ideal embedded system then time to prototype must be less time to market how much time is required to develop a system such that it can be relayed such that it can be released to the market commercially that time is nothing but time to market means what if you are designing a system if you are developing a system and finally you require a month of time to open it for a consumer market to sell it for a consumer market that time is nothing but time to market if we consider idle embedded system the time to market must be less safety safety are there any adverse effect on the un- operating environment means what system will not produce any pollution for environment or it is environment friendly in other words environment will not easily affect the system the system must be safer one some atmospheric changes will not affect the system it is about the safety if we consider idle embedded system then idle embedded system must be more safer let's summarize what we learned today we learned some common design metric of embedded system like energy cost unit cost size performance power flexibility time to market and safety thank you very much